We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am to 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we finish broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street.
How beautiful are these? My mum always told me it was rude to speak with your mouth full. Anyway, look. Beautiful. Oh, nah, oh, they are different. Those two are different. This is Lewis and Irene clear berry down. Five and a half metres, 11 fabrics, £87.89. Now, these are already selling on pre-order, just so you know. These have only been on air once before with VIX. Oh. Taking some money off. Why is that? So hang on, how much is coming off? Must be half a metre. Must be half a metre for free. Half a metre for free. Half a metre for free. Beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Uh, some more gorgeous than others, in my opinion. Love these. Gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. When I saw them this morning, I thought, I was like, why are, they, why are these Christmas fabrics in here? I have, it was early this morning. I think it's because I saw a reindeer. Where have you seen Holly? What, that? You think that's Holly? Yeah. Swallows, name my house. Anyway, beautiful. That's your bundle. So you get half a metre each. Let's have a look at them. So that one there, you've got your little icons on. You've got a, a fox, an owl, a swallow, a rabbit. A, I was going to say a pineapple. It's not a pineapple. A dandelion. A bluebird of happiness. Or is it an eagle? Well, I don't know what that is, but anyway. So we've got that in the two different colourways, look. Then you've got all your birds in your trees on a lovely, like, parchment-coloured background. Same fabric with, like, a blue speckledy background. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this now is... that, that That's in my favourites list as well. Then you've got your cow parsley. Cute, isn't it? I'm saying cow parsley. It might be that other posh one that's like cow parsley in the two different colours. <clears throat> then you've got your uh, little rabbits and your owls playing in the fields on O'Donnell. And then you've also got it in the dark blue. Oh, that's like, oh, it's day and night, isn't it? Day and night. Then you've got these beautiful flowers, look, on a vine in the pink and the blue. And then you've got this, now it's not a panel, but it's a border print, look. Look, there you go. Like they're hand, it looks like they're hand painted, doesn't it? Beautiful. So Ben's going to make a cushion out of his. Gorgeous. Right, so that's all of the fabrics in the bundle. You get all of those, you get one for free. Say you get that one for free. Most affordable way to get them is by in the bundle. I've got them by the half metre, if you would like them. Shall we do that then? So I'll start with the border one then. Threaded with love. Now I'm only showing you half it. Obviously you get the other half there. Now what colour would you call this? Because Kat loves that colour there. She just said. This colour here, the sky. Mint. Is that what they've called it? Oh, they've not put a colour on it. Yeah. You've got sage in there. I call that bit sage. Bit of olive there. Lots of cow parsley on this one. Rabbit looks very happy. What? No, they don't. Oh, okay, fine. Well, this is in Eng this is in England. He said that hairs turn white in the winter. The hairs in my around my way don't. Uh, the swallows, or are they swifts? At seven ninety nine for half meter, one hundred percent cotton, forty four inches wide. Oh, I didn't see the owl in the tree there. 
Oh, and then all the lovely flowers across the bottom here. Bumblebees. See, it can't be winter. Oh, no, it can't be winter because he's brown, but there's bumblebees out as well. Look. Are they bumblebees or are they just honeybees? I don't know. They're not wasps. Right, yo. Now I'm going to move on to the beautiful vine one with the blue background. This is pretty, isn't it? So this is wild thyme. Oh, I know a bank where the old... Oh, hang on. Now, what's he say, Oberon? I know a bank where the wild thyme grows, where oxlips and the nodding violets grow, quite over-canopied by luscious woodbine. And I could carry on, but I won't. Oberon in Midsummer Night's Dream. Lewis and Irene, clear breed down collection, wild thyme in dark blue. Now, does it, it mean to wild thyme the, the herb? Not wild time partying. I like wild garlic. I don't know if I've had wild time. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, what I like is you've got the flowers on the here, the, but look in the background, you've got the like shadow of a blue one in the background as well. Beautiful attention to detail. 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Lovely. Then I've got the same fabric in pink. Wild thyme in pink. That's gorgeous. Uh, oh, they've called it natural. The oh, I suppose the background's a kind of natural linen-y parchment colour, isn't it? That's lovely and warm, that one. Gorgeous. Then I've got one with lots of rabbit. Well, it's kind of, this must be the signature fabric, this one, because it's got all of the animals on. Oh, it's got, and now I'll hold it up because it's got a repeat in it. Look, not random. Beautiful. So you've got rabbits and owls and dandelions and swallows and uh, Christmas roses. You wouldn't then. $7.99. Gorgeous. So what's coloured? This is summer dark. Summer dark blue. Make some lovely cushions, yeah? Be nice a border on a big quilt. Yes, you have, thank you. Same fabric, but in like the mint green. There you go. Uh, duck, oh, they've called it duck egg blue. That's not duck egg blue. Definitely, definitely not duck egg blue, that one. It's only the egg that's blue, not the duck. They're not very good mothers, ducks. No. They're no, because remember the ones that were in my, in my house and everyone messaged going, oh, that's because the mothers are useless. Mm. Now, I'm presuming this is cow parsley. Or what have they called it? Wild meadows with bees in a light duck egg. Yeah, you see this one is duck egg, this one. Yeah, they're bees, look. Look, coming close, look. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, only got half a meter of that one left. Only got half a meter of that one left. Right, when we can't do redo the bundle then, if that's sold out. Now I've got this one in pink. Now that can't call this natural. Let's have a look. Soft rose. I 
think, um, well, yesterday was St George's Day, wasn't it? We should have all rolled roses yesterday. Seven ninety nine. Beautiful. Bumblebees are a little bit, um, no, just bees, a little bit more um, demure on that one. Gorgeous. Then I've got the birds in the trees in the navy blue. Lovely. Look at that. So there's the flowers. Now that, that, that's the wild thyme flower there. Oak leaves. What they called it? Birds on dark blue. Oh, okay. I suppose it is, isn't it? Look all the different coloured leaves in there, though. What? Oh, it must be digitally printed, look, because they haven't got a thingy down the side. No difference. Um, a digital print is more, usually more expensive, but you can get more colours in a digital printing than you can in a... Beautiful. This one's birds on cream. That's made with red wine, isn't it? Beautiful. Now the last two, the ones with little icons on, these are very close in colour. Yeah, green one first. Oh, now, oh, now they've called it duck egg. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me, hang on, let me just check the number. Yeah, that's the right one. You got the right one. Yeah. You see, I said, oh, no, and the other one would be light duck egg, won't it? That's where it was earlier. That's green. Beautiful. Oh, Sky, they've called that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Remember, buy the bundle, buy the bundle, because the, one of these fabrics is about to sell or has sold out, so you can't make this bundle left. And there's only seven of the bundle left. Who's that meant to be? What's the matter? Oh, yeah, yeah, she used the other one, yeah. There you go. Bundle, 79.90. How much should it be? <coughs> 8789 is how much it should be. Yeah, and a half a metre for free. Okay, I'll just give these to Cat. Stuart Hillard, nutmeg, and what it's called? Blue sky and nutmeg. Yes, we did, didn't we? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Meters. We had meter pieces. That's in fact quarters. So how, why have we got half meters now, then, if we've never had them? We must have had them. Yeah, we must have had half meters. Look, because... Um, 49.90. Uh, 49.90. Very countryfied. Shirt Hillard. Blue skies and nutmeg. At 49. But that's 49.90 for 10 fabrics. Makes them £4.99 and a half metre. Patrick, what did Shirt make out of them? I can't remember. They made children's dresses. Hat, is that what you're pointing at? So cat just went like this, right? Eat the shrimp. That, that I meant to get a hat from that. <laughs> Headband, yeah, for running, because cat does a lot of that. Not. Beautiful. Beautiful.
Uh, what you don't know, Ollie, is that Stuart used to be a aerobics teacher. Yeah, back in the 80s, was an aerobics teacher. 49.90. Yeah, yeah. So did I, Ollie. Yeah. But he did it. I never did it. I, I finished my teacher training and then went on to another college, went to art school, but he did it, yeah. Beautiful. 49.90. Am I doing these individually or not? No, nope, not individually. Only in the bundle. Only in the bundle. Liberty Orchid. Now, I launched this a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful. Now, they're all the same fabric, just different colours. Uh, 80 pounds and 91 pence. That is your price. So you're getting one, two, three. There are five of these left and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so some money must have been taken off that. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, eight, eight ninety nine. Sorry, I didn't read that. Yeah, because they're eight ninety nine and a half meter now. These new liberties, so you're getting one of those for free. Gorgeous, that's my favourite there. Well, it's one of uh, one of their uh, traditional prints, isn't it? York fern. Beautiful. So you get half a metre of each on the bundle. £80.91. and 91 pence. Now I've got some of these by the half metre, but not... Oh, actually, how many, how many bundles have I got left? OK, so there are four bundles left. We can't remake this because only certain of these are available by the half metre. So, which one's available? Oh, eight. Yeah. I'll do that one, okay. This is apple leaf. Made in Italy, remember? Now, these are screen printed. These aren't, um, you see, there's just one colour on here. These are screen printed in a factory in Italy on Lazenby cotton, which is your Liberty cotton, um, on the shores of Lake Como. Christine says, good morning. Only just Christine. It's 20 past 10. Eight, nine times half a metre. Lovely. Graphite, that'll be that one over there. You see, Catch has brought something out right. It says there's one colour. But the actual base colour must be white, so there have to be two colours in there to get a pattern, don't there? Anyway, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Very classy, very high-end. Eight ninety-nine. Beautiful. Linen, yeah. It's not linen. The colour is linen, but the actual fabric is uh, obviously cotton. Beautiful. And one's me, Kat. <laughs> and one's Ben. <laughs> Eight ninety nine. Oh, there you go, Twilight. Is it a film? Uh, this is uh, Twilight, eight ninety nine. Beautiful. I haven't got all of these, by the way. One more. Eight 
Oh, it's not that one. Oh. Must be that one. Yeah, there we go. Levi, this one's called. Oh, lovely Levi. Is he in today? Oh, yeah, he will be, won't he? Because it's a different team today. From what? Where's he been? Oh, he's not been very well. Too many chips in the chip shop, I think. Misty Blue, this one. Beautiful. Isn't it funny, because little Alex, when he was in last, he was poorly as well. Yeah, like really poorly. Right, okay, I can give that one to Kat. Bundle! Bundle. Yeah, there's loads though. 80 pounds, 91 pence, saving 8.99. Shall we do some? Okay, you've got the wrong, you've got the wrong hour. He's jumped ahead to one o'clock as Ben. Uh, Stonehenge, that's this one. And now I can't, I have to say, I don't think I've seen these. Stonehenge, this is called. Now, it's not a bundle, just by the half metre. Right, yeah. Am I following you? You following me? Okay. Come on then, guess. This could be a good practice day for you. Yep, I'm, I'm teaching Ben how to recognise fabrics from here on the little picture that he's got to look at, you see. So it's got, now this is done like um, where you put a, a, an undercoat of like bright colours and then a, a wax covering and then scrape it off and you see the undercover or a bit of, um, what's it called? Not patinage, what's it called? When, oh, is it patina? Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? Marrakesh, this is called. Oh, hang on, the ca collections, Marrakesh. This is just a Geo Aqua. Beautiful. Right, so these are by the half meter, remember, 7.99 for half a meter. Uh, right, okay. Uh, have I got that one in another color? Let's just, oh. No. No. But okay, we carry on then. Uh, this one. Yep. See? Oh, well, it takes a bit of concentration. You can do it. That would make a gorgeous shirt, says Christine. And she loves my shirt that I'm wearing today. Thank you, Christine. Wait to see my new Liberty ones. $7.99. This is a new shirt today. This one's new. Because the one yesterday was new as well. All my shirts this week are new. Tune in tomorrow to see. It could either be orange or pale green tomorrow. Well, we'll see what mood I'm in tomorrow. Beautiful. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. Uh, the or if you wear orange, it means what you're trying to attract is the perfect relationship between passion and friendship. So, I mean, if you're looking for a good time, you wear orange. Ollie. Ollie never wears any colour at all. Well, there you go. Right, now this is some sort of mandala. No, it isn't. No. That's the one. Got this in other colours. One of the most popular, this one. Uh, so this is uh, Marrakesh. Oh, Geo Aqua. Hang on a minute. 
I'm a bit, oh, hang on, I'm a bit confused now, because the first one was Joe Aqua. This is Two-Tone Blooms, this one's called. I think this is just Barry making it up upstairs. Because they, they don't have names on them, they just have numbers, you see. Linda Ludovico. See, now this, you can see this has been, like, there's all the colours in there. So you know this hasn't, this is screen print or printed, this isn't um, um, digital printed. No, no, it starts four because we cut off one, two and three. They'll be here. Anyway, moving on. So I've got that one in orange. Beautiful, that is like a burnt, what they called, oh, burnt fabric. <laughs> it's not been burnt. It's two-tone blooms in geo burnt. Seven ninety-nine, the half a metre, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, dressmaking weight. It's lovely, isn't it? It's a shame Derek's not watching because I've got a purple coming up in a minute. Will he be busy teaching, will he? Yeah. Right. He's a full-time Scottish teacher, yes. But he... Um... Oh, now is that the same? No, no, I haven't, got, I haven't got any more of that one. What I've got is... Oh, look, I did have that first one in another colour. Never mind. Now... Is, yeah. You hiccup in. You should never hold them in. Oh, it's a sneeze. You definitely shouldn't hold those in. Look! Bad for your pelvic floor, they are pelvic girdle. <laughs> Big blooms. This one's called Big Blooms. So now, have I got Big Blooms in another colour? Yes, I have. Oh, I've got. No, two colours, two colours. Beautiful, isn't it? That's fabulous. I'll put my hand in so you can see the proportion. No, you wouldn't. Seven ninety nine, And then you'd wonder why Alice up and left. Right, Joe, so I've got that one in the burnt. Ooh, that's nice. That's a splash of greens. Lovely, isn't it? Very mosaic-ish, isn't it? Right, what have they called that one? Wine. Oh, they're all saying words I don't understand. <laughs> oh, no, everyone says it's the best thing to watch. Have you watched it? Is it a bit tense? We're talking about something called Baby Reindeer that's on at Netflix, right? And loads of people say it's... Oh, hang on, Kat's running in to tell me something now. Uh, everyone's saying it's quite... And it, some of the letters in it are real, real letters, aren't they? Yes, I knew that, but I thought... I thought okay. Oh, every text. Oh, I didn't read that, but... Oh. <gasps> hey. Oh, and how many episodes are there? Oh, I couldn't watch seven episodes in one day. He says, when I watch Smash, you know Smash the musical, uh, I watch 17 in a day. <laughs> 17, there were hour long shows, and I watched 17 in a day. Didn't move, I was in Spain, didn't move all day. Right, uh, I was on holiday in Spain. Right, now. Yes. That's lovely, that one. That's like, um, oh, mixed blooms, that one. These, don't go by the names. Just go by the pattern that you like. You go by the number. Beautiful. Then I've got, now, I had this one right at the beginning, but in turquoise. 
Can't believe it. Oh, is it? No, it's not the same. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. It's got the same feeling to it, hasn't it? With the patinage or patina or whatever. Diane, Diane, the code on the web is only for web shopping. It's not for live TV. Seven ninety nine. Now look at this one. Oh, oh that's nice. Ninny Geo Purple. I wonder what, who's Ninny? Ninny, who's he? Or is it short for Nefertiti? Oh no, she wasn't Stonehenge, was she? Pardon, yeah. Who's that next? That wasn't in here, that was next door. And it wasn't Toby. Have they got a different guest on next door? Dave would never make a noise like that. Beautiful. Last one of the Stonehenge range. Uh, Nini Geo Wine. That's not wine at all. Thank you for that, Ollie. I can really use that. Think Cluedo, he's saying. Think Cluedo. Right. That's all of Stonehenge done and dusted. Yes. Oh, you got him. Okay, here we go. Dan Morris. This is a bundle. Oh, that's nice. Right, so that one goes there, that one goes there. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different fabrics. I love that one. Eight different fabrics, eight, saving seven, 99. Oh, hang on, there's a panel. Did you say panel? Dan Morris on Painted Wings Collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, I'm missing a panel. I'm missing a panel. Should have little squares on it, shouldn't it? Oh, Michael. No, not Michael. Was it Michael? Oh, yeah, but you should have checked it, doesn't it? Don't you check them when you get the bag? Yeah, the Michael. 17.92. Dan Morris on Painted Wings Collection. So you get eight fabrics, which I've got here. Let me just check I'm not being stupid. Sorry, before I start blaming other people. No, no, it's not me. No, it's definitely not here. There's a pa you get a panel as well. So if you buy this, please, please, please make sure you get the panel. Cat will put, send a message to the warehouse to make sure that you get the panel, but make sure you get the panel in there as well. Okay, so you get the two butterflies, the two splodge, the two circles, and the two... Viney. They're not by they're not on their own, they're just in the bundle. I love this one. Look at this one. It might, might be a bit too busy for a shirt, that one. What's a party? Okay, lovely. Right, big Liberty Garden Party Bundle. This is huge now. <coughs> Considered purchase. You are saving £33.96. You're getting four of these for free. Four for free. Oh, look. Oh! Oh, are you sure? Okay. So are you taking 33 pounds off that then? So that will make it two, three, two, five, three. Yeah, sorry, two, five, three, seven. Is that what it is? Yeah, there you go. So you get these. 
these. Whoa, look at these, like the party in the park. That, oh, did Radio 2 announce where party in the park was going to be? This was supposed to happen this morning. Was anybody listening? Where's party in the park going to be? Was Leicester last year? Yeah, Radio 2, party in the park. I don't listen to Radio 1, Ollie. Where is it? Preston. That's near Manchester, isn't it? Up there, Cheshire, up that way. Blackpooly way. Oh, okay. Four of this big bundle. Oh, here we go. Look, four of this big bundle left. And what was the radio? One one. Yeah, but Luton or Luton who? Luton who's a place as well. Oh, just Luton. Up and coming Luton. Luton Airport's called London Luton Airport, the same as that. Uh, look at that London Oxford. Uh, 253 74 you get split pay, £84.57, I think it was. Saving 33.96. All of that Liberty quilting weight fabric. So meterage, 16 metres. Two hundred fifty-three seventy-two. Gorgeous. There it all is. Look. Now I wonder why they didn't put the same fabrics together when they took the picture. You know what I mean? Beautiful. Gorgeous. It's a beautiful bundle. That one. Okay, now please be careful. Lots of you got that in your basket. In fact, more people now have got it in their basket than we've got stock of. It's up to you to check out if you want it. Peacocks. Roman vases there, look. How much does the Greek earn? Look, jellies and cakes. Oh, don't they look delicious? Is there a blancmange on there? There. Then you've got musical instruments. All everything you need for a good old party, isn't it? Has Bridgerton started yet? Oh, that's a bit sad that Ben knows the launch of the Bridgerton. Beautiful. That's, look at all of that fabric. That'd take up a whole set of shelf in my, in my stash cupboard. Not my new stash cupboard that's arriving next week. At the end, the whole, the whole room's going to be my sewing room. Um, how many, how many baskets you say? And how many have we got left? Oh, three left, six people in baskets. It's up to you. I can't make it again. Can't look at, oh, look at all of that. And it's on three-way split pay, look. If you want to take split pay, that is. Interest-free, and we do not charge for the pleasure of using split pay. Beautiful. Right, check out, check out, check out. That's really important you check out on that one. Didn't mean to point at you. One more bundle, and then I've got some more. Uh, oh, <laughs> Kat's got 12 o'clock out already. Right, so one more bundle, that's this one here, which is gorgeous. And that's Macauer, I believe, this one. Oh, more rabbits. Or hares, you know, they're definitely hares, those. Oh, now, this looks very Lewis and Irene, doesn't it, look? Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's the same as that one there. That's one on its own. That's one on its own. That's one on its own. And there are your hairs, look. 60, oh, that's a fact, 63 pounds, dunk. Saving 6.99. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful, isn't it? We don't normally stock Macau. I don't know how that sneaked in. Hang on, there's a panel. 
There's a panel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the panel? Where's, isn't it just as well I read the graphics, isn't it? Where's the panel? Honestly, that's really weird, isn't it? It's happened to both of them. Oh, I thought you got the panel then. <sighs> Do you think they'll look at that bag or they'll just rip it out? Would you send a, ne a different message to them? But will, will they look at that yeah, thing? Yeah. Okay, that's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hares and deers, hedgehogs, rabbits, blue tits. I like this one. This is very essence of liberty, that one. Oh, that could be my house. Look, my house is called the Swallows. Yeah. No, no, no. They're all, they haven't got numbers. They've all got names. Well, I've got numbers as well, but they're all named. So there's furrow fields and the ploughed what's it, and I've got the Swallows. I don't think that's its real name. Furrow and f plough or whatever. <laughs> Furrow and fell or something like that. Sixty-three pounds. Beautiful that one. You do get a panel with it. I'm so sorry. That's two now that haven't got their panel with them. Right now I've got fa individual fabrics. Oh. That one or that one? What number is it? That one's sold out already. Right, Joe. These are by the uh, half meter. So this is blank quilting. Now, these feel slightly lighter weight. Not a poplin, not a poplin, but slightly lighter weight, like a cave weight, like a cave weight, these. Uh, so this is Petra Collections, Medallions Rainbow on Cream. It's lovely, isn't it? Has anybody been on air once? Who had it? Don't think I was even in that day. Anyway, it's beautiful, isn't it? I recognise these. I have to say I recognise the Paisley ones. I didn't recognise that one. Maybe. Oh, and I've, that, I've got a bundle that goes with it in the, the last hour, in uh, 12 o'clock. Now I've got a purple one. Purple, small Paisley. Oh, Charlie, Charlie's mum messaged in yesterday. Yeah? Charlie's mum messaged in yesterday. Yeah, saying, uh, my, it's my lovely son Charlie's birthday day and he's off work and I'm just saying, he was off, oh yeah, I wasn't in yesterday. Me, I was in. Michael was in. Chris, oh yeah. Medallion in purple, oh. Oh yeah, Paisley with medallion, yeah. Paisley with medallion. So who? Seven ninety-nine. What's he saying? What's Ollie saying? He did yesterday. Oh, for, for the next day. Yeah, he, he came in while we were doing our prep. And I finished all my prep and I was like, you can't stop. We haven't got any pictures yet. Right, anyway, we go. Lovely light purple. His mum watches anyway. Chris, we're talking about Chris now. Yesterday, it was lovely seeing him. It was really lovely seeing him. But he was a bit chaotic yesterday. He had a nice shirt on that he had an iron. So this one is called Tonal Patchwork on Purple. Oh, beautiful. Look at the colours in there. You see, I can't show you all the colours. So they've got flowers up here, but you can't. 
All he's saying is like a slice of heaven. Oh, does that know what he said? Oh, it's Ben. Now that was after that. It wasn't. I, I ignored that one, but there was another one after that. Anyway, moving on. Very wild Paisley, fast Paisley, fluid Paisley. Oh, they've just called it Paisley Purple. Sorry, Kat, you've got to listen to this. Was it a mistake, as in, oh. Beautiful. Right, then I'm moving on to a different range for the last couple of minutes. Now, this, we had loads of this collection. Is this all I've got left? It's all I've got left of this collection now. Beautiful, look at that. Fronde Nouveau in mosaic evergreen, this one. I'm surprised there's any of this left. These remind, you, you're none of you are old enough to remember, they used to make sweets that were like sort of uh, biscornous, you know, that Jane makes, like kind of wonky sided, like that remind me of this. Oh, they had them in the Black Country Museum, apparently. Now, they weren't Victorian, also around the Victorian times. <laughs> Green leaves, I'm moving on now. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, when my, uh, my niece was at, um, still at school, she brought her history homework back. Uh, they were doing 1974, and I went, that's not history. Well, no, no, they just happened to be uh, doing social and economic history in the 70s. I oh, know. That's not history, it's current affairs. And then last but not least, I've got the same leafy one on rust. Oh, tossed leaves they are in terracotta. <laughs> Completely wrong. No, no, I could do, I tell you what I could do. I know it's from 12 o'clock, but I've got the bundle that goes with the medallions because the medallions sold really well, didn't they? You might want the bundle. The play, this is a little sneak pre preview, sneak peek of 12 o'clock. Is it that one? Oh, na she waved at me going, this one, this one, now she can't remember which one it was. I'll wait. Okay, we'll have a look on the web to make sure I've got the right one. Because lots of them are quite similar. Petra, two and a half metres. Yep. So if you wanted the bundle that goes with the Petra, the plain bundle. Oh, blimey. There you go. There's the Petra fabrics that you saw. 18.95. Two and a half metres. Five of those. Who did this one? Eighteen ninety-five. One, two, three, four, five fabrics. Beautiful. They're all our uh, Rose and Hubble. They're all our core fabrics. Jade. That's why I'm not going. <laughs> My brain's not working today. Right, we're going for a break now. I'll do that again in twelve o'clock. You'll see that again in twelve o'clock. Um, Delphine's back after break, making that oh gorgeous wall hanging with all the half square triangles. Oh, cat, we need to pick. Just I, when I put the cushion in earlier, I pulled the corner down off the rail. There it is, coming up straight after this four minute break. <laughs>
Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletter. Go to sewingstreet.com and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Type in your email address and click the envelope. That's it. You'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, 
Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Can you see me all the way over there? I feel, they feel like they're miles away today. Um, now, this was one of our best-selling patterns ever. Uh, the Highland Count. Now, this is not what we're making today, but we just had more reprinted. And we brought this back to stock. Yeah, yeah. Every time we brought it on in 2023, it sold out. There you go. 9.99. It's a Delphine Brooks uh, Highland Count applique cushion instructions. We're not doing this today. It's just that we are doing Highland Cows. It was made with five inch charm packs, but you can make it with, what do you need? Nothing, just talk to cat. Okay, five inch charm packs, all scraps of fabric, and she's doing all sorts of things like this to cat next to me. Uh, nine pounds and 99 pence. Nine ninety nine. Well, no, no, I thought this one now would have been on Delphine's website. Because it's been so long. It's been sold a lot, that yeah. one. Highland Cow, nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Inside, what's the matter? Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Is it the break? Is it the break? Oh no, no. Did he put it in his? Uh, did he put it there? Might have put it in before, in free pre-order. Not that we can see what you're buying, obviously, Derek. No, because he'd be at school, he'd be in class now. But he'll have come in at pre-order. He normally messages in when he's watching. Anyway, not to wait. 9 99 That's not what we're doing today. Yeah. 9 99 <coughs> Yeah, if, if it looks like it's going to sell out and he's gone back to class, I'll buy this one and then he can have mine. Right, okay, let's move on to today's project now then. So let's look at a picture of it, please, Ollie. So now, is that the pink one or the purple one? That's pink. Pink. That's the pink one there. We'll do the pink one first. <clears throat> and it's been the most popular. Right, now, there's very little difference between the pink and purple one, isn't it? It's yeah. only that centre forehead bit. So what you get in this... Are these bundles? There's only eight left. Eight left of this bundle. Right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, what you get is you get the instructions. You then get two meters of white in both of the kits. Then in the pink kit, what you get is you get half a meter. Oh, this is that, um, like clouds, isn't it? Um, Lewis and Irene. Lewis and Irene, yeah? Dreams. Dreams. Right, so you get half a meter of that and you get half a meter of this which is a Jason Yenta in the beginning, right? That's the pink section. And then you get these fat quarters. Now, the fat quarters are the same in both bundles. So these are the fat... Oh, there's the Jason Yenta one again. Look, These are... There's dreams in blue. Oh, OK. Dreams in green, dreams in yellow, dreams in blue. And I'm presuming they're Jason Yentas, aren't they? Beautiful. So one, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters, three meters of fabric, plus your instructions, $64.99. Yeah. Oh, they're impressions, they're called. Not in the beginning. Yeah, who knew the Lewis and Irene one, Jen? Oh, the Jason Yenton one's got nothing written on the um salvages. Let's have a look. Must have been the other side then. Right, be careful, be careful. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out the pink one. This is the pink one. How funny. Anyway, that's all of those. That's the pink version. Then we've got the purple version. Right, look. So it's exactly the same. You've got your instructions. You've got your two metres of white. Oh, now you've got your purple dreams. And that's lovely, isn't it? In the beginning, impressions by Jason Yenta. In the purple, pink and blue. So is that the one you did? That... Oh. 
Are you demoing this one? No, I haven't got that one, but I can chop oh, it Oh, no, 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 don't worry. No, no, you can't chop it because there's too many people going in their baskets. Can't chop anything up. Then you get the same fat quarters. You get the same fat quarters in that one. $64.99. This is a confident beginner. 52 inches square. 52 inches square. Beautiful. So now, let me let me just recap, right? This is the purple one. How many have I got? How many have I got in basket? How many have I got left and everything? Okay, be careful. If you've got that in your basket, check out Limited, right? But I've got enough of those ones at the moment. The pink one. Seven of the pink one left. And six in basket. So in theory, one of those left once you've all checked out, if you want the pink one. You're going to see the pink one being demoed. Right, I've got the pattern on its own. Because you, if you want to put your own fabrics in, use your own stash or anything, $9.99. So it's called the Highland Cow. Well, in the graphics, they've called it Highland Cow Half Square Triangle Quilt Instructions. Just called the Highland Cow Quilt. Beautiful, look. Oh, oh, it's not made like I thought it was going to be made. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to do it in rows going across. I'm doing it in blocks. Are you making blocks? Oh, I see, look. Oh. Well, it means that if you're doing rows, you'd have lots and lots of rows, lots of thin rows. This way, you've got, you're only ever working on that block to start with, and you make that twice, obviously, once that way around and once the other way around. You only make that one twice, so you've only got blocks of... How big are those blocks? Then? So they're about 12 inch square. 12 inch square. So the, you, all the time you're only working to, until you put it all back together. Oh, look. Oh, they're fantastic, aren't they? Nick's done a good job on this. He's hasn't done he? a really good job, actually. He's done a phenomenal job on that. Look, see, they, they, so what you do is you make each of these individually. Well, we'll talk about. Oh, now. You can do them as squares or you can change. No, no, but look, but look, look. His right hand ear is bigger than his left hand ear. Yeah, but it's not symmetrical. Oh. Because the original one's not symmetrical either. So the original one? That is the original So one. I've done it based on... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. And we've done then... It, yeah, we've even given you the black and white, if you want to use your look own... Look it in black and white. Imagine it, because this is a pattern on its own. Make it in black, white and greys. That'd be gorgeous, wouldn't it? That'd be like your... Um, I think you're a dog or a cat in black and white as well. Yeah. It's just... How, uh, ooh. So you've even told us, rather than just telling us, you've shown us how many of ev all the different how many varieties. Yeah. Blimey. That's a lot of work gone in there. £9.99, pattern on its own. £9.99. pence. Right, just check the pink one before we carry on. Ooh. Too many people... Too many people got the pink one in their basket. Oh, way too many. Twice as many people want this as we got stock left now. That's the pink one. That's the pink one. Let me just put, show you the purple one again, just to make sure. Because you're not going to see the purple one being made, you see. Right? Okay. Right. So, Delphine, yeah. where, when this all arrives in my house, what do I do first? Right. So, I recommend you do it block per block. Uh, some people want to go straight out and just cut all the squares off right. straight away. Um, all it is is a very simple half square triangles. So what we've actually done for you is you've put it out. Like we've actually done a block by block, step by step instruction. So, so you even you wouldn't cut because it's an awful lot of cutting out, isn't it? It is an awful lot of cutting out, which that's why I've definitely <laughs> recommend. Oh, yeah, 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 but what you're saying is, so you say we maybe do the antlers first, or yeah. not antlers, horns or whatever they Yeah, are. just get used to doing it and then... And do... only cut those out. Don't try cutting all of the squares out yeah. right at the, from the word go. To be fair, apart from the white squares, yeah. all the squares are cut to the same size. So even if you, you, if you wanted to, you can just go and cut all the... Oh, OK. Do I use all to. the fabric? 
Uh, no, you won't. You see, what I would do is I'd cut all the fabric and then do the quilt and go, oh. I've got squares got, left. And I've you? only got this size squares left. I haven't got a piece of fabric left. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think I would do it cut, sew, cut, sew. So you make whichever bit you want to make. As you go along. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to, so what we've done is that the, for, per each block, you've got a, a grid showing you exactly the orientation of the squares and uh, where to sew them together. So this chart at the back here, so for example, I thought today we'll make block five, right. which is this block here. Okay, so I've got, I've got the, oh, I see. So have I got the, just talk me through the top two right-hand ones, first of all. No, okay. not top, the top two corners, right? Yeah. Don't you, do because you, they're opposite to each other. Yeah. So you tell me how many of each half square triangles to make. Yeah. And then you follow the picture to lay them out. To lay them out. Got yeah. it, got it, got so it. So for example, that's block number one and four. Yeah. So if you come to the chart, your cutting chart, Block one and four, it tells you how many of the blue and white triangles you need. Right. How many of the, the white and the pattern triangles you need and how many of the doubles you need. So block one, you need five of those, but you only need four for block four. Right. So it's really, really simple, straightforward. So that's how many you need. But the only thing to point out with these, you need five of these ones. Yeah. But obviously, when you put the two squares together, oh, you're going to make six. Demo, it, it makes more, doesn't it? So what two squares sewn together cut will actually make two. So that's the finished squares. That's how many of the finished squares. Right. OK, so you will end up with one of those left over. You'll end up, yeah. So you're going to have enough to make a little cushion cover or something at the end. Yeah, or you'll probably put that aside because you need that again in say, oh, okay. uh, another step. So you'll need that one oh, okay. somewhere okay. else. You know, so it's not like they're completely wasted. But this is just showing you per block yep. how many you need Brilliant. per block. Oh, I'd quite like that because I'd feel satisfaction of marking them off on my sheet and everything. Yeah. You know, it's like, like yeah, when like you have a little, list. Yeah. Like yesterday, I got so many things on my list. Not yesterday, day before, got so many things on my list. And you go to bed thinking, oh, I've had a really good day today. Whereas if you only mark two things off the list, you're like, oh, Yeah, you, you don't feel like you've done, you've no. done enough. So I thought we'd make block five because that's achievable within within the within the time that we have. Okay. So it's telling me to make the to, turf. To, uh, I'll need nine of the double green blocks. Right. So first of all, uh, and also so nine of those, nine of those, uh, two, three, one, one, one. Right. So first of all, I'm gonna. I haven't chopped up any of my yellow fabric, so I'm gonna do that first. Okay. So I've just taken a um, just a. Uh, a quarter of the um, fat quarter. Okay, using the stripology. So using the stripology ruler. So as you can see, this fabric, I've not squared it up or anything like that. So all you need to do is when you're using the stripology is just make sure that that black square is sat on top of your fabric. Make sure you've got an excess over the zero. Yeah. So then you just pop your, make sure you've got a nice sharp blade. So that's cutting away my excess. So I now know that I need to cut every three inches. So you can either count the numbers or you can just follow the stars along the bottom. So you yeah, be get... careful with the stars because they're every one and a half up. Yes, the yeah. So every other star, don't do every star, otherwise your squares will be too small. There we go. So I'm going to lift that up. And I'm just going to take away, because I know that they're, they're my excess. Sorry, I should have got a sharper. So that's our fault, that one. Is that ours or yours? Yours. Uh, oh. Yours. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you've got a nice uh, root, um, blade. We've got rotary blades in this hour. Yeah, make sure you've got nice, sharp blades. Lovely. So now that one, I know that that one's squared. <laughs> so we've given her a turny table. <laughs> and I haven't touched <laughs> And you don't unlock it. <laughs> no. Oh dear. It's one of those days today. So then I'm going to put do the same. So now I know that, that those bottom lines are nicely squared away. This is hold on. Let me just move a few things around. Yeah, because so, at home your at home machine's not on your where you do your cutting, is it? No. So again, I've now lined up because they're nicely squared, nice and square. So you can line those up. But make sure you've the zero, you've got excess over the zero. I'm going over this a couple of times just because I have got a 
not the sharpest yeah. blade in the world. And the amount of time this will save you from cutting is yeah, exactly. unbelievable. Now I've been using one, I'm, I wouldn't be without it now. Funny and that it? is the honest Cause... truth, I wouldn't be without it. No, 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 but it's weird, isn't it? Because we go, oh, 69 pounds, that's a lot of money to pay for a ruler. But then actually, once you've got one, and you start using it and you think, oh, crikey, you know what I mean? But you can't, you can't save that on, you know, it's like that is like money, you're going to get back on time and you can't buy time. No, you? no. In fact, it's a lovely present to give somebody. If you don't know what to buy somebody as a gift, mm. you give them a voucher of time. So you can say, you can have four hours of my time. Either I can either do babysitting for you or we can go out and spend four hours together mm. or something like that. And I think that's a real... I know people go, that's a really cheap gift, John, but actually, you can't pay for you it. Can't, and, especially yeah. when you can't. Especially when you... Like, you and I are both so busy. Mm. For us to actually... We haven't been for a sausage sandwich for No, ages, we haven't. Have we? But yeah. you know what I mean? For us to actually spend any time together is, like, never happens, really. No, we'd love so to So for me that. to say... Oh, let's spend an hour together in the local coffee shop or whatever, then that's a nice gift, I it think. It is, yeah. yeah. yeah and yeah. I think as, as you get older, you, what do you buy people who, like, you know, like, it's such a disposable income, the, and not to mention income, disposable society these days. If people want something, they go and buy it, don't they? It's exactly. not like in the old days where they couldn't afford something. If you buy them a nice present or whatever, they've bought it already. Mm. So just the gift of time. Is so lovely. Pre your, your presence is the, your present. Exactly, that's exactly. It. But yeah, so already I've got a big pile of squares. Yep. Whereas when I first did one of these, I literally, I was there with just my one ruler doing it over and it took me, and I got so sick of it. Whereas yeah. now, yeah. so I'll, I'll come back to that one as well in a bit. Right, yeah. So I've got my squares. So I'm going to have a look at how many of my yellow I need. So I need three. So to get three, I'm going to have to do two pairs, which will make me, which I will have one left over, but it doesn't matter. So you're going to need, so I've got two pattern and two plain is what it's telling me that I need. So then right sides together. And then where's me the ruler? And then I'm going to draw a line. So you, have you already done one then? So you need three? Uh, no, so I need three for the, to make this block. But obviously, I, um, this will make me four. Four. I will see what you mean. I see. So the number is how many finished ones you make, not how many squares you actually put together. Yeah. Um, right. The pink is about to sell out. They are looking to get some more. But stay where you are. I'll let you know. I'll let you know whether if the pink one sells out, uh, we'll get if we can get some more for you. So you just draw from one side to the other. Diagonal. Now this is where I recommend you use your quarter inch. Um, foot on your machine. Right. Uh, same fed throughout. And I'm just going to sew quarter inch either side of my drawn lines. Okay. It's also really, really, really important. And I know I say this every single time, but you make all of them on the same machine. So don't be like making, because you might have this issue now because you've made all your other ones at home, haven't you? Mm. And you can have exactly the same sewing machine, put it both in two different, like, so Delphine's got this machine at home and we've got it here in the studio. Put it on its quarter inch foot, the quarter inch can be slightly different. So if you, and, and if you use a completely different machine, like if you do some at class and some in the home, or whatever, always use the same machine because they won't all match together. If, you, if your quarter inch isn't the same on both machines, they won't all match together. So again, I'll, at home, I'll just I ch I just chain piece a yeah. load of a load of them. Do you go down the left hand side of all of them and then yeah. turn it around, and go down the other side? Yeah. Just saves thread, saves time, doesn't it? So now I've got my two squares. I'm mm -hmm. now going to. down the drawn line so don't worry if about it being a specialist type pen because you're going to be chopping through it anyway right Ooh. there we go so now you're going to give these an iron so press a press yeah press the iron <laughs> just saying 
So when are we going to go for a sausage sandwich? I was just thinking, do you want to go next week? Are you around next week? Am I around? Uh, what, I, I think I am. I'm in here on Tuesday. Uh, what day is it next week? I think I'm only in Tuesday next week. No, because I'm away, I think. That's why. Hang on, let's just... Is it the first, second and third of May next week? Yes. I'm away that week. So, so then the week after. The week after, because yeah. then it's bank holiday Monday. Oh, is it? So then the week... Oh, I'll be... oh I'm not working. Oh, blow me. So, okay. yeah, the week after then. Yeah, all right then. I'll, I'll text you when we finish the show now. Yeah. Yeah, get a date in. That'll be lovely. Yeah. Okay. And then... Um, yeah, then can't do, I can't do weekends because you've got the kids and everything at weekends. Yeah, I'm usually at football. Fo fo yeah, yeah go-karting and football this weekend. Um, yeah, and then it will be half to... Half to oh, already? Then we'll just end have Easter holiday. I've just booked my holiday. I can't wait. What, for half term? Yeah. You're going away without the kids then? <laughs> 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 no, we're, um, yeah, I told you earlier, we're going to the, I've never... No. Oh, that's when you're going there? Yeah, going to Loire Valley. Oh, nice. you'll come back drunk. <laughs> it's wine, isn't it, Loire Valley? Isn't yeah. It? Like wine, everything. And my husband doesn't drink. Oh, doesn't he? <laughs> no, he's not bothered. Oh, perfect. So he's Not nice. at all? He'll have the odd beer, but he's just never... Oh. He'd rather have an orange juice or a cup of tea. He's not, he's, oh. he's just not bothered. But that'd be nice. And then, so, uh, but Ursh and Pete are looking after the dog. Oh, okay. Oh, of course, I forgot you got the dog there. So, so I'm just squaring up my blocks now. To yeah. Two and a half inch inches. Also, if you've got any uh, best press or starch, do that before you do any cutting because it does help. Oh, I had every best press and every. St oh, actually. Right, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you this. Well, hang on. Is, is, it, on the, is it advertised on the website? Right, that, that thing. It doesn't, it doesn't involve things on the show today. Yesterday, I had every single best press flavour you could imagine, right? If you go to the website today, you can't, it doesn't include things on the show, right? It doesn't include, but to celebrate Scott's birthday, there's a code you can use to get a bit of a discount. Look, there you go. Right, go, that thing's off the website, right? That's off the website. So if you want some Best Press, right, so you've mentioned so far Best Press and there was something else we hadn't got on the show today. What was it? Oh, oh the road, uh, have we got the road to cutter um, scheduled? Oh, no, you can't do the road to cutter then. Can't do the road to cutter. But you could go and get the Best Press with how much percentage off was it? 10%? 15% off? And have you guessed how old Scott was? We, we did, uh, yesterday morning, he was on with me to celebrate his birthday. So I said, get, no. So I said, guess how old he is. Yeah. Right? And everyone started mentioning, they all thought he was over 40 and he was more. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, bless him. 37. <laughs> He's only young. 37. That's when my, oh no, you see, 37 is the year that I, my life really took off. And I really started enjoying life from the age of 37. Is it? Yeah, I don't know why. No idea why, but it was when it, everything kind of clipped into place and it's kind of like. Not that I'm still miserable. No, but. you're not miserable. You're <laughs> lovely. Right, so... Two left of the pink. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. We're going to try and get more. We're trying to get more, but check out. So the yeah, if you can't, because how many people got it in their basket? Seven, 17 people got it in their basket. So I've now realised that I need some pink. So oh. I'm just going to just get myself a few pink squares. Okay. Just Have you do... not cut any yet? No. I'll just do a couple just to show you again. This one, it's a bigger piece of fabric, so I've just folded it in half. And then I'm just going to place that again, lining up as best as I can. Again, it's not squared up yet. Make sure there's an excess over on that yeah. side. I think there must be something wrong with Facebook Live today. Because I asked, uh, how long ago did I ask what t where um, Radio 2 thingy is? And the answers are just coming through now. I don't know, so I don't know if there's something wrong with the web with Facebook. I don't think I need too many, so I'm going to keep no. that fabric. There. Yeah, it's lovely, that. So then I know that that's all squared up nicely. Mm -hmm. And again, rotating me <laughs> fabric. Again, the excess. Oh, Diane, ring the call centre. 
Diane, ring the call centre. They'll sort it out for you. It's only for things on the website, not from today's show. Won't work on anything from today's show, but you can get things from the website on it. So I'm just moving my sewing machine out of the way again. There we go. There we go, I've got a load of pink squares now, which is what I needed. Look how quickly the um, stripology makes that happen. Oh, it's so good. And nice. the precision on this as well. Makes my life so much easier. So I need a pink and a green one. So we'll quickly make this one. And then we should have all of our squares. Check out, check out, check out. There's so many more people adding the pink ones to their basket. It's really weird, right? More people adding the basket. No one's checked out. So there's still two available, but more people, 18 in baskets. one of these at the moment but you will need some more more of these in other blocks so still press them and square them up as you go along yeah using the little iron we had on earlier let's square that one up you want the pink one you need to check out and I'm sorry to keep harping on about it right then so now we're going to build our rows together right okay so your first one I've already done the first row so I'll show you how the second the, the rows go together when you come to press make sure you press each row in different directions okay it's going to make your life a lot easier when you come to sew the rows together so a really nice hot dry iron mm -hmm. the little mini iron that uh, ben took too low last hour the hour before last Okay, so I'm just going to leave that one to one side. So now I know I need uh, two white squares. So has Nick put all the fat, all the patterns of all the different fabrics onto all of those? See, on, when we buy a quilt kit, normally they go, they do a key at the beginning, don't they? Yeah. Just do solid colours. But you've Nick's done all of the patterns. He's done a brilliant job. Isn't so he? you know where your pattern's supposed to be and everything like that. Oh, he's too good to you, Delphine. Yeah, you, you did take him a while to do that. Was he swearing? <laughs> Not so much swearing, but he was like, oh, that's a lot of work. But, he did, but yeah, he's done it. It means that literally your hand's held throughout the whole thing. Yeah. You know, you can't go wrong. Oh. But yeah, he's good to me like that, isn't he? So have you just been away in the have you just been away in the moat home? Uh, last? We went away. Oh, we went that was half of half term, wasn't it? Is it half term? No, Easter. I think the last time I saw you, you were just about to go off on the on the in the moat home. No, we've been away in the van. We went away. Yeah, it was around Easter. We went we went away for a couple of days, just to the Shropshire Hills. No, I've seen you since, I'm sure I've seen you since. You've seen me since then? Yeah, I thought you were going away somewhere else. No, we're going away in the van, we're going this weekend. Oh, maybe that's what you He's, um, but Charlie's racing. 
And where's that then? Uh, he's racing at Risington in uh, Cotswolds. Oh, my dad used to be um, stationed at Little Risington. Yeah, Little Ris, yeah, yeah. Oh, the RF base there? Yeah, yeah. There's, oh. yeah, there's a, there's a, is it a gliding club there? That's I don't know. It won't be an RF camp anymore. No. No. But yeah, so he's, he's racing there. Yeah, it's funny because when I first moved up here, and I was driving around looking for places to buy and everything. And I suddenly saw that, because there's Little Risington, there's other Risingtons, aren't there? Yeah. It's like, oh my God, I haven't heard that word since I was about 11 when my oh. dad was like travelling backwards and forwards from there. Bless him. But yeah, so he's racing there and I don't know. No football this weekend. There's, yeah, there's football for Louis, but I'm not sure. I think it might, I might I'm hoping it's a home game. What, so you have to do the football, then go off to go-karting, or do you do the football? And, I do and... football. I do the football with Louis. Louis is a bit funny about that. He likes me to take him because he, th he thinks his dad uh, gives him bad luck. Oh, not that he doesn't love his dad or anything. <laughs> no, it, it, it just works out easy. He's just won the cup, hasn't he? Didn't he win? Uh, one, he didn't won win? Player of the Week last week. He's, he's just coming on so well. I mean, he absolutely adores football. But you know, um, Hayley's little boy, well, he's not he's that little really anymore. Good as he's, well. he's always getting man of the match and things, isn't he? Yeah. Joseph. He's really, really good as well. Yeah. Okay, I've just got to announce the two pink ones have gone. We've got new ones. We've got some new stock of the pink. Is it the same, exactly the same? Is it the same code so people have got it in their basket? They can just check out. Oh, it's a different code. It's a different code, right? So you need, if you want the pink one now, you need, oh, no, no, same code, same code. It's the same code. So if you've got it in your basket, just check out. Now there's more stock in there. Not huge amounts, not huge amounts. Hmm? No, not huge amounts. Right. So I'm doing row two now. So I've just laid out all my pieces. Okay. And I'm going to sew them together. Now, these finished squares, I just want to point out that these finished squares are two and a half inch squares. Right. But if you wanted to not sew all the squares together, you can just cheat and just put a strip on the end. But you've got to remember to take your seam allowance take the seam off because that'll have a, a quarter of an inch too. Yeah. You'd have to take half an inch off, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I'm going to sew these together. So what I do with each row, I lay it out like that. Mm -hmm. And so I know that I'm sewing it together correctly. Again, you can chain piece it if you want to. Yeah, so it, it seems a bit rude. So we're going away with friends in the van, but then we're going off to football, and then he's going off to the track. So laying them all out like this, you know you're getting the correct orientation. So you've got the key here, so you can see the correct orientation yeah. of how all your pieces... Do they do their homework in the van, then? If, they, if you go away for the weekend, do they get homework? No, they do it when they get back. On a Sunday night? Yeah. Oh, no, I used to hate that. Yeah, because Fridays, I mean, they're, they're so tired on a Friday, as a sort yeah. of... Um, it's well, yeah, but I suppose it's different now, isn't it? The pressures are completely different. But I just used to like to get mine done on Friday night. Then you knew you had your whole weekend. Weekend, yeah. There's nothing worse than coming back to do it on a Sunday night and then you couldn't do it. And all that stress before you go to bed that you couldn't do your homework. And if it's Charlie, it's usually all done at the last minute anyway. Oh, OK. <laughs> So how old are they? Louis eight. Yeah. He'll be nine in June, and best time to have a birthday. And then Charlie's twelve, but looks about sixteen, and has the attitude of one. Oh really? <laughs> Some, he did this morning. Uh, okay, so I'm just looking at now which way I've pressed my seams. Oh yeah. Now I need to make sure that I press them in the opposite direction. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because I make them do... Louis has... Um, he does... I make them do chores. I had loads of chores when I was a kid. Mm. And, and uh, so Louis does the table, lays the table, and Charlie has to empty the dishwasher every morning. Uh, For school? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Um, somebody who was on the other day, yes, and I, we were job. talking about um, pocket money. Now, which guest was it that was on? I can't believe how much money kids get for their pocket money these days. Yeah, mine don't get enough. 
We say to Charlie, because carting is expensive, yeah. that's his thing. But then Louis, he never asks for anything. You take, like, Louis, he can go and get some new trainers or something to do with football or a new kit. And he's like, no, it's all right, I don't want anything. Oh, isn't it funny? They're chalk, they're chalk and cheese. Yeah. So that's now row and two, one and two. So you can now sew these right sides together. £40, they said, for pocket money. 40 I, Yeah. What, a week? Well, I don't know. Who was it, who was it on? Oh, oh, Ollie does £10 a week for his. £40 a month. £35 to have your nails done? Is that how much, how much your nails cost? These will cost me 30 <gasps> But, but, these will last me for, for, like, my last set, you know, the blue ones that I had, they lasted me for nearly six weeks. Yeah, but if you're 15, how old is she, your daughter? 15. She want to change it every week, won't she? She wants the same old colour. Thank me. That's, that is expensive. Although their haircuts are expensive. Oh, school won't let them have it too brightly coloured. Oh, right. But yeah, the, the haircuts. I've got to take Louis for a haircut today. He yeah, but that they you can't make them pay for their own hair. No, I pay for the haircuts, but that's it's all £17 each. Where do you go? Come to Ulster, it's nowhere near that expensive. <laughs> so, so, well, it's because they, they have a skin fade. Oh. Whereas Charlie's hair grows really quick, whereas Louis doesn't. Yeah. But so I can Louis it can get. Blocked. I'm sure a skin fade's not that much in my barbers. Yeah, it's seven. Nine ninety nine. My barbers. I have to say though, when I moved from London, <laughs> I used to have my hair cut by Jamie Stevens, who was um, Britain's men's hairdresser of the year. And uh, to go in and have your hair cut like this was three hundred and fifty quid. Really? I didn't pay that. He was my mate, so I just used to have all the treatment and the and the champagne and everything, and not pay for it. But. Um, no, 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 no. So, so I was a bit of a shock when I moved up here and I went to the barbers. It was like nine pounds. But I, cu I cut Nick's hair though. You did what? I, I cut Nick's hair. Oh yeah. I learned you can to. Tell. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> I learned to cut hair in lockdown. Oh, did you? Oh, you yeah. Said, yeah, but in lockdown, when you look at the pictures of my hair during lockdown, it was like yours was really long. Long wasn't and it? floppy, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I saved there. Whereas, yeah, Louis, because. He's football, you know, all the footballers yeah. have them, don't they? And, and Oh, no, 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 that's that, James, my uh, my barber, not my hairdresser, my barber, that's what he spends most of his day doing, his skin fades and all these different... And as a barber, you kind of think of barbers being old-fashioned and traditional, but they have to keep up with the trends because all the mm. lads come in and all the farm boys come in going, oh, I want this and I want that and I want the other. But what... And do they not listen? I'd I, I hadn't even heard of a skin fade. I wouldn't, yeah. Until I took Louis and he wanted... Because I used to cut the boys' hair, whereas Louis is starting... Well, both of them are getting to the point that they want to look cool and look like their mates. Yeah. And I, so I'd never even heard of one, so... No. Oh. And they're, 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 uh, uh, they're an art. Not anybody can do it. No, no. Yeah. no. But, yeah, they go to see Massimo. He's good. And, uh, What's he called? Massimo. That's your, your barber? That's our barber's name. Oh. Yeah. Right, so now I've got... So in your village, in your town? You know, the gym? Yeah. You know where my workshop is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in there. Oh. Yeah, so those that are coming to the workshop, by the way, we've had some bookings, but there's still some spaces left, so get on. Oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so you've got the downstairs, you've got the gym. Yeah. That they call the studio, where I, the, the big workshop space. Upstairs, you've got the gym, and then in the corner, you've Massimo. So, if there's anyone wants to come for a skin fade on my workshop next week, oh. I, I can book you in. <laughs> yeah, but not for me. All right, so row three, need one, two, three. Orientation, we want one, two, Yeah, threepence. That's right. Somebody's messaging saying they're. they're, they're um, I didn't get. We didn't get pocket money, but my Uncle Jack used to bring us threepence bits. Threepenny bits. My mum used to say threepenny bits. Yeah. Uh, we used to have fifteen p sweets. Huh? We used to go and get fifteen p mixes when I was little. Fifteen p. That that's three. Hang on, fifteen fifteen p. Is that? Hang on, I've got to work it out now. Anyways, two and a half p was sixpence. So you had a couple of shillings to spend on your sweets. Yeah. Hey. So when you got to an age where you started going out, out, where did you get your money from then? Work. Yeah, I worked a Saturday job, yeah. I had a Saturday job. 
I had a Saturday job. Um, it was like in this little mall, and it was piercing ears and um, changing batteries and straps on watches. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no, I, my first, I, my first job, job was I um, uh, was a caddy at Chester Golf Club. We got fifty p for doing a whole. How many rounds is a round of golf? Thirty-two or something like that. Don't know. Oh, you've been there all spoil. day. You get fifty p for it. Uh, then I got a job at Sheldon's Fruit and Veg Stall in Chester Market. And then I went posh, went to Brown to Chester then. Oh, I just got into waitressing after that. My first job I had when I was, I was a paper girl at eight, 11 years old. Yeah. And where was that then? That was in Telford. Oh, okay. Oof. Do you have an armoured vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> Although, you say that, we used to go out like... We, I used to do the morning papers and the evening papers all year round on my own. Yeah, in the oh dark. yeah, no, no, I, it's I just know. a different time now, yeah, isn't it? Whereas easy. now, I wouldn't even let Louis go down the bottom of the street. No. I did the paper round during lockdown in the village. Did you? I did the lock? I did the paper round, delivered milk, and got people's prescriptions from the doctors. Oh, you're lovely. Well, what else was there to do? Well, true. So what you make sure you, like I said, just double check which way each row is sewn together. Uh, pressed. So you put pressed. Oh, I've just pressed them in the same same. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Oof. <sighs> but when you come to press these seams, make sure you press that seam open because it's just easier for when you sew all your blocks together. And also, when you were saying earlier, rather than do it row by row, by doing it in blocks, yeah. it's going to be more accurate. And also, you're only ever going to have that size. If you do it row by row, you've got really long, thin rows, which means that it's easier to banana and miss your seams, isn't it, and everything. Uh, these are the pattern on its own, nine ninety nine. Pattern on its own. So you just buddy up the seams on each one as you go. And that's row three, Dad. Yeah, it's a quilt that you're not going to do in an afternoon. No, no, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes you don't want... You can have different projects with different things. You have things mm. you're going to make in an afternoon, things you're going to make in a weekend, or mm. things that are going to be working. If you look on the, on the um, fans page, people put up a picture of a quilt going, well, I've just finished this quilt. And we, we send them at sewing quarter and things like wow. that. There's no rush, is there? It's up to you when you want to do it. Oh, I saw that big cat's quilt. I had when oh, did you go and have a look? It's lovely. Isn't it? I can't believe it. Like, new to it as well. Yeah, I know. But that's accolade to you because it's your pattern. So if a new person can do a whole quilt from your pattern. Yeah. And I'm always really relieved when I've seen it made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So that's that one all done now. So let's get on to row four. So that's telling me I need. So again, like we said earlier, you can just use a strip of the white if you want to. Just, just make sure you do your measurements. Yeah. So I need three of those. I need the other white one, which I'm just going to trim down quickly. So once I've made them all, I have to trim them all down then? Uh, yeah, just, just to, not so much trim them down. Well, to get rid of the dog ears. Yeah, oh, right. And to just square up, because things can always shift, no matter how accurate of a sewer you are um, at, at piecing, or even if you have prepped your fabric beforehand, it's just, it's just nice to tidy yeah. them all up. Because the more accurate these squares are, the better the finish, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, definitely. So I need one, two, three, and then that's going to be like that. There we go. And then our half square triangles again. Let's quickly do these two. And then we'll go on to, do we need two? So that's, ten, no, I need one. Okay. 
and a yellow and a green one, which I believe I've prepared earlier. Yes, I have. Oh, have you? I don't know. There is a pile. There, of there's the yellow and green one over here. Underneath your... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. How long have I got? Oh, you got ages. So I'll get the block done. So, there, so yeah, if you think about with your cutting, you're probably thinking, once you've done all your cutting, you're probably saying about a block every 45 minutes. To yeah, but that's only if you want to rush it. You don't yeah. have to rush it. What colour are your nails then? I don't know. It, it did wasn't a name, but um, it wasn't a name. It didn't have a name. No, oh. it was a number, which is a bit boring. They're nice though, aren't they? Yeah, bright. I like them bright. I was gonna. Do you know? I nearly went for an luminous green. Why? Why not? <laughs> Look like you're a picture nose or something. I like green. It's my favourite colour. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what's your favourite colour? Don't know, it depends on my mood. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah. If you look in my house, you wouldn't be able to tell what my favourite colour was because we've got every single You've colour got every going. Colour yeah. going. It's just a very yeah. calming colour, isn't it, green? Oh, I just realised I Oh, cat! I've just cut your ribbon off. By accident. I'll pull it back. <laughs> so I'll get those dog ears off. This one's nice and square, to be honest. So that's that one, and then my the other one. So that's row four. So I'm going to say that. The flag. And of course, you can, if you want to, even change the size of the squares if you wanted to, and make it even bigger. Oh yeah. To make it smaller. Or even smaller. That would be very precise sewing, yeah. that word, wouldn't it? If you did it smaller, you could do it EPP. Could, yeah. That's a lot of hand sewing there with that, isn't it? Yeah, no, no, but that's like you take a bunch of them in the car with you and just, you know. That would look awesome. You could enter that into a competition. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't do it while you're driving, Ollie. Oh, honestly. Uh, there we go. My yellows, make sure you get the right orientation. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can mix up the different ways the the block the squares, the orientation of each square if you want to. You haven't got to stick to what I've done. Right, and now I'm gonna press these ones away. Just like, sorry, I'm listening to the conversation going on there. I shouldn't be. <laughs> so you're Dave Bradford's arrived. So you're working tomorrow as well, then? Yeah, and the day after. So this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. I could have come go-karting on Saturday, couldn't you I? could, yeah. <laughs> so you're whizzing around the track? I'd be quite good at that. <laughs> have you ever been? It's great fun. Oh, yeah, not for donkey's years. I'll do it because obviously we'll be able to take, Charlie does it professionally. Yeah, but yeah. We take sometimes just go to one in Coventry or something like yeah. that. It's great fun. There was one when we were in um, uh, Digbeth, when we were at Rocks and Co., the one opposite was a, there was a go karting rink, op, rink, whatever it's called, yeah. rock track, right opposite. No, it is really good fun. 
Louis is quite good at it as well, but I hope, so I've already said to Nick, don't get give any ideas. It's bad enough having one of them do it. Yeah. And I said, you stick to football, son. Stick to football. No, I will do that. Where's that scene? Where are you? Oh, there you go. I think Toby's back next door. Huh? Toby's back as the guest next door. Yeah. Can, can, was that the noise? Yeah. Yeah. There. Well, yeah. yeah. That's Toby. See how it's all starting oh. to get there. So keep those irons on and nice and hot. And that's four rows then. But doing it this way as well, you're going to have really accurate piecing. Yeah, exactly. So the last two rows then. So I'm going to need... Yeah, you have to race through this one. Actually, while you're doing this one, I'll just recap. Is that all right? Uh, yeah, recap yeah, all the bundles, yeah. right? Oh, so let's start with the pink one then. Now, this has already sold out once today. We've got some more stock in. So you've got the instructions. You've got two metres of your white fabric. Uh, you've got your two half metres of your pink there. Yeah, Dan Morris, uh, you're Jason Yenta. No, hang on. Get it right, John. Jason Yenta. Uh, plus your Lewis and Irene there. That's their half metres. And then these are all fat quarters. So you've got your, the same as your pink. You've got your green, your yellow and your blue. That's Dreams from Lewis and Irene. And then you've got your Jason Yenta. They're lovely. That's gorgeous, that one, isn't it? These are your fat quarters. For all your half square triangles, $64.99. We also have it in the purple. Purple, very popular too. So again, you get the instructions. You get two metres of white fabric, half a metre of your dreams in purple, half a metre of your Jason Yenta, and then the fat quarters are exactly the same fat quarters that you get in the other bundle. $64.99. The pattern on its own. Nine ninety nine. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's my bad. That's my bad. Thank you, Ollie. I don't know where they've where they've gone then. Oh, Delphine took them. Well, the pack the instructions to pick the wrong instructions up. Yeah, I've got them. Sorry. Okay, that this is this is the instructions for the quilt. Well spotted, Ollie. Then we do have the old one, the Highland Cow one. Nine ninety nine. You altering it? Uh, no, I'm delivering it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, taking it home and maybe someone to pick. Yeah. Nine ninety nine. Beautiful. Stripology. We've been using the stripology ruler. Oh. Oh, you're back to me. I was. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've, I've finished. We're just watching you sew now. And that's row five. Yeah. 
There's only one more row to sew. Do you want me to sew the last row or not? Yeah, go on. We've got. How long have you got? How long can you do it in? How quickly can you do it? Uh, I can do it quite quick. Yeah, go on then. Now, Ollie, that's not the attitude. <laughs> what did you say, John? <laughs> <laughs> right. There we go. There's two. And I need one of them. And one of them. I'll just chain piece those together and add these two on. And then that's row six. And then that's your block. Ta da! So, yeah. I'm not pressed, but yeah. Yeah, no, no, brilliant. So now just talk to me about, because you're saying that you can do the little squares all the way across, but if you don't want to do the little squares all the way across, you've put other. Yeah, you can just put do, do it in strips as long as you know, because the, the, the finished block is 12 inches. <coughs> so you just add, you just keep adding it on until it... it until it's 12 inches. Until it's yeah. 12 inches. So rather than... So in the... Right, so just show... I haven't got the cat... Oh, I have. I have, I have, I have. So in here, where it shows the blocks, these ones here... Right, let's just have a look at the... Have I got an overhead here yet? Yeah, look. So this one here, this one here, and this one here... Yeah. Do I have to do squares on those? No. Can I just use those as 12? Well, they'd be, do you cut them as 12 and a half inches? So they're yeah. 12 and a half, yeah. 12 yeah. inches. If you, or if you want to keep, because once you've quilted it, you're not going to oh, know that those seams aren't see there, it. are they? No. So the ones here that you've got little bits of white at the end, you can just work out how long the strip should be, but they're still two and a half, in, is yeah. it two and a half inches wide? Yeah. But then those there, you could do those as a bit, just a square if you wanted to. Yeah. Because once you've quilted that negative space, you're not going to see it, no. are you? But if you want to keep it the same all over, then by all means do... Look, because that, that one there. <laughs> oh, I, do you know what I do? I do the square and then I do a... What's it called when you... A snowball. It, I'd stitch it and, and turn it up. Right, OK. For that, that one square there sort of thing. So I do a whole big square mm. and then just a little yellow square on the Pick corner. Yeah. If, if you want to, but if you want to do the squares, you can do. That's all we're saying. Brilliant. When are you in next, then, Delphine? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I don't know what I mean. Are you going to see them upstairs next? Oh, oh I've got, I can't. I've got to get back for Louis because he's not well. Oh, of course he is. Yeah. He's left, you've not left him on his own, have you? No, Nick's oh, there. Oh, Nick's away from But home, Nick, yeah. Nick was supposed to be having an important meeting today, so now he's got to... I'm going to go back, and then Nick's got to go to work. Oh, it's kind of the important meeting. So we're soon. so we're literally. Oh, you better get going then. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Delphine. Thank we'll you. We'll see you then very soon, yeah. and I will give you a date for a sausage sandwich. Uh, I'll see you back here in four minutes when we've got plain fabric. We've got bundles. We've got bundles, and we've got singles. I'll see you in four. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. 
You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches, and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. 
Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. You know what, when I was at this morning, and if I had a break, there'd be somebody to make my cup of tea, somebody to do my hair, somebody to do my face, somebody to iron my shirt. In the breaks here, I have to run out, say hello to Sandra Santangle, make a cup of tea, wave at um, Clark Kent, he's in the green room again today. I'm waiting for him to turn into his um, Superman outfit and everything. Anyway, it's three minutes, goes like that, doesn't it? Anyway, we've got, now, I know it sounds boring, but it isn't, plain, fa we've got gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plain fabrics now. I've got big bundles of, pla of plain fabric, I've got bundles with mixed colours in, and I've got by the half metre on their own. So, where are we going to start? Right, are these in the right order then? No. So, I'm presuming that one, no. Yep, yeah, that's New Mexico. So, do you want me to tell you a story? When Stuart designed his New Mexico quilt, who put these colours together? Only Ben. Ben put these colours together for Stuart. Obviously, on the quilt, there was a cream as well, or a background colour, wasn't there? Yeah. And, and a couple of other colours. But this is Ben's take now. Because New Mexico sells out every time Stuart brings New Mexico onto the show. Completely sells out, right? £22.74. pence. Oh, what? Let me just, can I have the big telly? You get a half a metre for free, you're not supposed to do that, Ben. Now, that normally, the half metre, when it first came in, the rule came in, it was 99.99 or above, you could do half a metre or a metre for free. Not £22.74. Two, three, four, five, six of them there. Yeah, Ben's just working something out. <laughs> no. no, obviously he didn't. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, right, if the management are watching, Yeah, it says free half meters for free in the graphics. Oh, maybe they took it away because you're not supposed to do it, but forgot to remove it from the graphics. You've thought, oh, it says it in the graphics, I can do it then. Right, let me just explain what happened was Ben put this hour together, right? Ben put the hour together. He decided to take half meter free. He thought he'd taken the price off. Then obviously it goes to the management for it to then go into the master schedule and everything. Master, they've obviously seen he's not supposed to take half a meter off that. So they put it back on the price there. So to the 22, whatever it was, right? But, but forgot, why are they down there? Uh, maybe. 1895, what meeting is it on a th oh. Eighteen ninety-five. I'm well, not surprised you've taken too much money off. Oh, eighteen ninety-five. Key gets a gorgeous colour. So Ben, so what made you pick these colours then? No, you can't go. They're nice. So is this the sea? This is the, so. What, what's it called? New Mexico. Is New Mexico on the seaside? Okay. So what were you thinking when you put them together then? Sea, sand, sunshine? Yeah. Okay. 18.95, keep going through, keep going through. Loads in baskets. 
Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, it is. It is like um, um, am I? I don't know. I, it's so difficult, isn't it? Because you can't say there's so many words you can't say anymore, isn't it? Or they say you can't say them anymore. Like if it's if something's Aboriginal art, I call it Aboriginal art, but apparently you're not let's call it that anymore. You have to call it Native Australian art or something like that. Indigenous, Indigenous, right? I agree. What would you, what did you say, Ollie? What did you say? Yeah, like Native American, this, isn't it? Like the jackets and the totem poles and things like that. Oh, okay. My seven-year-old, I've got a picture in my bedroom, in my, one of my spare bedrooms, almost identical to that, that my seven-year-old nephew did. Now, it's not me being rude about Ben's picture, but I'll show... No, but it's, it's ironic. How, I'm not ironic. What's the word? No, not serendipitous. Frightening how close they are to each other. So I, well, I don't understand, what, what, is that a, did you colour it in? Oh, I don't understand. But they, those are supposed to be these colours, are they? So where's that one? Oh, okay. Beautiful. Anyway, moving on. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out on that one. Kat, do you want these straight away to pack, pack away, my love? Are you Oh, okay, then fine. Right, next. That one, there's a cream in it as well. So this is called Benny's Beach House. Now, Kat, in prep this morning, Kat picked this one up straight away. Went, he went, Benny's Beach House, and she picked this one up immediately, not knowing, normally, though, it's got so many metres, got this, that, the other in it. So explain that one to me then, because to me, that does not say Beach House. Take the red away, yeah. Oh, that's sand, is it? Sand, sea, sky. Oh, you're talking... You're, I know what you mean. You don't mean like a Tilda beach house with the whitewashed... I'm seeing all the whitewashed floorboards and everything. You're meaning a stripy beach house on the side of Bournemouth Beach. Got it. Well, you say they're shacks. They sell for half a million pounds now. Yeah, the ones at Bournemouth and Sandybanks down there sent cost a fortune. Uh... Jane, Jane, the garden, the garden centre, Jane, is the one on the Camden Road running from Stratford to Mickleton. It's on the right-hand side. It's got a lovely big restaurant, a cafe bar. It's a good, it's really lovely. It's a bit pricey. And then in the garden at the back, Jane, they've got loads of sheds, like posh sheds. And other people have set up, like there's an interior designer, there's a nail lady, there's a hairdresser, there's a, a fancy dress shop and things like that. And my lady who does the, the uh, Lizzie who does the ironing and everything's in there as well. Anyway, 1895. What's happened? Something's not right, because about 50 messages have just come through on Ben's um, thing right now. What, you mean the ones that appear here? What does that mean? Oh, OK. Sorry if we haven't read out any messages today. They've only just arrived. I said there was something funny going on, didn't I? When, uh, when my mind, that's not Facebook. But anyway, 1895, it doesn't matter about that. 1895. Keep going through. I can see why. Oh! Eighteen ninety five. Beautiful. That'll be Ben Janeer. He doesn't know what he's doing, does he? Lovely. Right. Spring Meadow. It'll be that one there, won't it, next to your hand. Yep. I, even I guessed this one. Well, no, it's because we looked at it in prep. That's how I know this one. 
Oh, crashing in. Right, I just want to warn you, this is the last one that's crashing. Right, there are no more crashing after this. There are no more crashes after this. Now, I like those colours. They're lovely, that's a colour, lovely colour wave that way, isn't it? 1895, I wouldn't call it Spring Meadow. Yeah. I know when you did it, because you emailed me when you were doing it. Okay, 1895. Oh, and you put it off and put it off, because it was quite late you emailed me saying you were doing it. 1895. And then yesterday, I messaged about something yesterday, I went, I'll just finish eating my tea, John, and then I'll do it. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I know, I know, I'm only teasing you. Oh, no, I thought, I, I thought that when you went, oh, I'll, I'll eat my tea and then I'll do it, I was like, oh, no, he thinks it's for today's show, it's for tomorrow's show. Yeah? Eighteen ninety-five, half metre reach, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. This is the one I'd go for. I wouldn't go for New Mexico. I wouldn't go for Benny's Bottom, whatever it was called. Benny's Baboon's Bottom. Uh, I'd go for this one. Spring Meadow. Beautiful. Is that Benjineer? I don't think I want to see that today. Beautiful. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. It's going to sell out, that one. It's going to sell out. What, even the baboon's bottom one? Yeah. Benny's baboon's bottom. Yeah. Right. Next. Uh, there are three very, very similar ones coming up now. Yeah. That must be this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So this one I've got midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Beautiful. Look, so you've got your blues, your ivories, your, I don't know what that is, peach. 23. Now, this is to go with the Lewis and Irene Celestial Collection. Oh, you're saving three pounds on that one. Saving three pounds. Yeah, but we haven't had Celestial Collection today, have we? Just a nice bundle. Twenty-three fifty-three. Oh, your three pounds has already been taken off that price. Beautiful. You didn't put this bundle together, did you? Oh, I thought you said it was already existing. Oh, okay. Oh, so you put it together in February. I can't remember what we did yesterday. I'm not going to remember what I did in February. Beautiful. Keep going through. All 44 inches wide, all machine washable, all quilting weight. 23.53. Saving three pounds. Three left. Three left. Well done. Now, hang on, slow down. Oh, no. Right. Don't buy them so quickly. Okay, now I've got one with six, ooh, six fabrics in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, here we go. The lemon in this one. So what have you called this one? Summer Days. Summer days. What's that? That's that Greece song. Chris tap the seams, but ah. oh, summer nights that was. Summer nights. Oh. Twenty-two pounds and seventy-four pence. Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> uh, right, hang on a second. We said we weren't crashing anymore. You're ruining my reputation, do you do realise? Go on then. Eight, 
18, oh, ruined well before you came on the scene. 1895, gone are the days. Hundred percent cotton, forty-four inches wide, machine washable, quilting weights. So it is summer day. This not quite sure what that one is. It can't be clouds if it's summer day. No, not clouds. It's an ice cream, apparently. I don't think we've got one of those in our village. I don't think I've ever heard an ice cream thingy going in our village. Oh, any any ice cream van. We have one at the Summer Fair. Oh, we've, we're doing the Summer Fate. I'm hosting the Summer Fate again. Oh, I, I must put it in my diary, actually, so I don't forget. Also, I've said I'll do a talk for the Chilton Quilters. Right, can I find the email about what date it's meant to be? Anyway, Chilton in Beaconsfield, down that way. Half the stock's gone. Loads in baskets, moving on. Okay, then this one here. Oh, you see, I'd call this Delphinium, but this is called William Morris Buttermere. You see, now, you see, if you looked at those, you wouldn't necessarily think any of those colours were William Morris, -y, would you? Anyway, 1595, two and a half metres. What? There should be six, you say? No, there's five of them, five of them. Yeah, that's right. No, it's good that we're all on the ball. <laughs> Spring Meadows, only two left. Okay, over half the stock of New Mexico's gone. Fifteen ninety-five. I'm surprised my batteries haven't run out yet. They've normally gone by now, haven't they? Not my batteries, but I talk about batteries. Now I've got a personal training session. I've got to go shopping. I'll go upstairs very quickly. I was upstairs yesterday. Oh, uh, um, uh, Kat, are you on tomorrow? Oh, she's not in here. Uh, the embroidery machine's upstairs on the far desk. We've got a new embroidery machine tomorrow. I've got to bring mine in from home, and there's one upstairs on the, on the desk upstairs. Lovely. Blue bundle, yep. Yeah. <laughs> she wore blue veil. Oh, it's grey in there. No, I won't do that song. There you go. 1974, very good year. Was it? It's when the start of disco, wasn't it, 74? Huh? Nineteen seventy five is a band. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know it was Denise Wash. Oh, and they caused all that upset because they kissed each other in Dubai or something like that, didn't they? Two boys on stage kissed each other and they got banned from wherever they were playing. Oh, you're a bit late with that one, Cat. Yeah, in every single one. That's it. Blue feeling. Hang on, how do you say, uh, who's made this one? It was, we talked about it on there, you say, complimentary, complimentary fabric, this one. It was you, Ben. <laughs> now, do you know what? Clark Kent's in after me on this one, and I'm on his desk here, so he's going to have to do flying over the cameras to get to his desk, wasn't he? Oh, he's got, is he there? No, don't, don't. Make a barricade. 
I want to see him fly. Is, is Clark Kent on in the, in the first hour? But it's, I don't think that's who he worked for. I'm a bit confused. He's what? Yeah, that, but the, the things that are on the trolley aren't from that company. So don't a bit confused now. Don't show! Don't show! Oh, you're not showing. Nineteen seventy-four. Keep going through for this one. Very, very popular. Beautiful. Nineteen seventy-four. Complimentary. It's a Hannah spelling that one. Has he got the yellow in? Yeah. Now I've got Petra still. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll need to do then is, you keep looking at those. Beautiful, aren't they? Floral, that is. No, no capitals. We haven't used any capitals on this one. Floral fabric bundle. Beautiful. Look at the gorgeous colours in there. No. Doesn't look like a shell suit. There we go. Gorgeous, moving on. Got one more bundle to show you like this. This is to go with the Petra fabric. Now, you have seen this. We gave you a sneak preview in the um, uh, 10 o'clock hour. Spring Modo is sold out. Lewis and Irene Celestial are sold out. Bernie's Beach House will never sell out. What about New Mexico? Okay, oh, loads of New Mexico have gone. Very, very popular in New Mexico. We had lots of stock of that. Eighteen ninety-five. So, Clark. We're expecting you to fly. I'm waiting for you to fly over there because I'm on your desk today. <laughs> now, you uh, oh, now you will fly in front of me, but you haven't got changed yet. There's no telephone. Do, te do you know what? There used to be a telephone box in reception, didn't there? I go down there. It's not there anymore. Oh, not there anymore. You watch, you can't watch the cables. I'll fly over. Yeah, you will fly. I went flying over those cables once. Do you remember? December the 16th last year. It was a trip. I didn't fall. But I've still got damage from it now. Oh, yeah, I've got fluid on the knee now. Lou, after, hello, sorry, Lou, Lou says, after morning, sorry, afternoon. That's fine. We're nearly finished now. She said, morning, oops, afternoon. That's what she said. Right, that's all of the bundles, the colourful bundles done. I've got backy bundles, but I've got some fabric here. I've got Osnaberg. I've got calico and I've got naturally seeded cotton and I think I've got um, nude, or was it beige, that one? Beige. Osnaberg first. Now, this is brilliant for doing um, red work, embroidery, backs of cushions. Well, you say that, I think Osnaberg would be very offended if you said it was posh calico. And the trouble is, I wouldn't use it to cut patterns with because it's got too much of a loose weave. And if you try and drape with this or cut patterns with it, it's very, it moves a lot. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that picture's all about. The picture on the web is awful. Don't look at it, don't look at it. Two, now, Osnaberg's meant to be way more expensive than this. Two ninety nine. It's not meant to be two. I think they've got this ca confused with the calico prices. Marcel. Two ninety nine. Beautiful for cross stitch or for embroidery or if you're doing embroidery in hoops or you're doing the back of cushions and things like that. 
I could, I, this is quite heavy, so I wouldn't, I, I'd only do the back of a wall hanging quilt with it. I wouldn't do a bed quilt with it or anything like that. Uh, how wide is it? 44 inches wide, 44 inches wide. Twiles, no, don't, do not use it for twiles. That's what I'm saying. It's too, the weave is too loose and it moves too much. Beautiful, 2.99 for half a meter. Obviously now we're selling these. What you've seen so far is they're already cut the to, in half meter pieces. These are, it's off the bolt. So you can have as much as you want. You have to just order, like if you want three meters, you order six units and things like that within increments of half a meter. Okay, that's your Osnaberg. Calico next. Love Calico. There you go, look, this is much wider. Actually, this isn't the widest calico we do, this one. Ollie, Ollie. There you go. Two nine, you see now, you say posh calico, this is 299 and a half meter. But the Osnaberg was 299 and a half meter. Osnaberg's meant to be like twice the price of calico. No, no, because you can't use them for the same project but it should be more expensive. People call Osmo Posh Calico, which, and Osmo would be offended, but it's the same price. It's exactly the same price as Calico. $2.99. Oh, no, 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 the, the Osmo's gorgeous fabric. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's horrible. I'm first of all saying you're getting it at a really good price. Secondly, all I'm saying is don't use it for twirls or patterns or backing for dressmaking because it's a bit of a loose weave and it works. it's not as stable as Calico. Calico's a different, use it for a different reason. Yeah. Two ninety nine for half a meter. Oh, do you know what? I'll say something at the end of the hour. I'll say something at the end of the hour. Just thinking. Right, now I've got naturally seeded cotton. I'm presuming that's what this is. Here you go. Naturally seeded, 379 for half a meter. So this is your um, Rosen Hubble quilting weight, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable fabric. We've got loads, we've got all the bundles, we've got all the half meters, so we're fine. Lovely. Right. Then I've also got beige. I'll do this one while we're in the, na in the neutral colours. I'll do the beige. This is, again, 100% cotton. I hate that word, beige. Have you? I haven't got ivory. I definitely, definitely haven't got ivory here. I've got ivory in a bundle. Oh, no. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I definitely haven't got ivory here. This is definitely beige, yeah. No, no, that's not ivory. Look, that's naturally seeded cotton, that one. Because look, you can tell. If that was ivory, that would be more white almost, wouldn't it? So, I, I mean, wait, wait, it, uh, is it in one of the bundles? They might not have sent it up if it's, if it's in one of the bundles, that's all. It doesn't matter, we can still do it from a picture, can't we? What number is ivory? Yeah, here it is, it's in the bundle. It's in the bundle. Yeah. Right, yo. Oh, I'll have to tell Kat I've taken that off a bundle then. Right. So this is ivory. Very popular, the ivory in the hour. And then I'll go on to the big bundles after this. Yeah. But also, whoever unpacked yesterday should have written, it's in the bundle. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that. Three seventy nine, beautiful. Right, now I'm going to go to, I'll just put that back in that pile there. Now I'm going to go to backing, well, they, they, I hate it when they call this, they, oh. 
to see who's on the phone. Who's on the phone? Well, it's not a boss because he called him mate. Oh, brilliant. Tomorrow, 11 o'clock. Uh, two and a half metres, yeah? Yep. Susan in Hampshire asked to see this one. Oh, there you go. Hi, John. I've the sign back in fabric. We'll have a client soon. Could you could please you show it? There you go. 49 seconds. How quick was that? So there it is. 16.95. You already saved you two uh, pounds off there. Two and a half metres, it's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. I hate it when they call them backing bundles because it makes you think they're extra wide backing, don't they? It's just 44 inches wide. Yeah, that, I've heard, that's it. Oh, no, I haven't got that colour on its own. And you won't get a saving as well if you buy it on its own. Right. Okay, that's that one. Yeah, right. Next. Slate, I've got that one, yeah. This is a four, and I'm jumping onto a four and a half metre bundle now. There you go. This is you're saving two pounds, 32 pounds and 11. Remember, if you've paid your PMP already today, you only paid one PMP. <clears throat> no matter, because if you would take this weight to the post office, you wouldn't pay to post that for 3.95. Have you? Thirty-two pounds and eleven. No. Beautiful. So that's your four and a half metre bundle, that one. Is that right? Four and a half? Yeah, four and a half metre bundle in slate. Oh, yes, silver in the four metres now. There you go, four metres of silver. Twenty-eight thirty-two. this one, saving two pounds. They're talking about you, Lauren, they're liking your jacket in the gallery. 100% cotton, silver backing. Twenty-eight What are you looking for? Oh, which one? Lilac. Four metres. Oh, it's a lovely, lovely shade of lilac, that one, isn't it? 28 pounds and 32 pence, you're saving that, that's part of the bundle, part of that bundle. Yeah, but I had to take it out to show it individually because it was, they hadn't. Ow, 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 ow. Have you breathed on their microphone or brushed their microphone? Have you got the air con on in there? Somebody went <laughs> like that across their microphone really loudly then. No, okay. It was Lauren, I'm going to blame you, Lauren. 28, 32 in a woolly cardi. 28, 32. Saving two pounds. On your what? Pardon? Was that celestial? Celestial had a very, very dark blue in it, yeah. Uh, coral now. I had an auntie Coral that she lived in Chester, just by the river, and uh, you go down steps by the side of the Hambridge Bridge, right? And when the tide was in, the water came right the way up to her dining room window. So you could sit in her dining room like this. Hang on a sec. Ollie. You could sit in her dining room like this and you could um, put your hand outside the window and put it in the river water, river water going past. But I don't know what happened when it went even higher, but... Anyway, 28.32, two pounds off this one. Did you? That was Carl. 
28-32. Wasn't Coral, that was Carl. Beautiful. That's a lovely colour. How big's that one? Uh, four metres, that one. Four metres. You're getting that one. Beautiful. Moss. Four metres of moss. This is a lovely colour, this one. It's like a Nocicelli olive, that one, isn't it? <coughs> Twenty-eight thirty-two. No. Oh no. To bring it down too low, won't it? In which room? Oh. Oh, it's hidden by the mirror. Then it's on the ceiling in the bedroom. Twenty-eight thirty-two. You're saving two pounds. When I, um, when I, they're just talking about decorating houses and everything. When I bought my first flat in Twickenham, the bedroom, the main bedroom, that wall and that wall were complete mirrors. Like one whole, the whole wall was mirrored. Not like lots of little mirrors, like one great big mirror. And it was fine. I kind of didn't mind it until one day I was climbing into bed because I've got a very, very, in those days, a very high Victorian bed. And I was climbing into bed like this and I suddenly looked up and all I could see, because it's mirror and mirror, was a million of me going like that, of my bottom, going like this. And I was like, they've got to go. Anyway, so I had the men come around to take them away. And she hadn't um, unearthed the wires behind it. So there were, the, obviously in the, it was a 1930s flat, so it had wall lights and she just put the mirrors over the top of them. They were all live underneath the mirror. I know. Anyway, saving two pounds. Yeah, a bit like that, yeah. Anyway, you can't see that at home, don't worry. Ollie's showing me the effect of him naked in a mirror. <laughs> right, next. Light grey, four metres. 28th century again, saving two pounds. Uh, hi, John. These planes are gorgeous. I've watched all morning when I should be cutting fabric. Roll on one o'clock. We can actually might do something. <gasps> Sue, go on with it, girl. But two, actually, don't turn off yet because I'm going to tell you something, something at, just before I go off air. It's only 8.32. What was he called then? Or did the naked in a mirror come? So his, his phone started ringing somebody because I said naked in the mirror. His phone started ringing somebody. He's got a dodgy past as Ben. And he's got such a lovely girlfriend now. I don't understand it. That won't be it. That won't be it. Pink. For me, this is a lovely pink, this one. Ah, huh? it is, and it's gorgeous. Twenty-eight thirty-two. Beautiful, saving two pounds on that one. Oh, blimey, there's a great big construction going on next door. Yeah, but Lauren's built it, so it's bound to fall over in a minute. Uh, anyway. 28, it wasn't like the other day. I was busy finishing my show. A Munch and Cat producer came in, started lifting tables and staircases and everything going on in the middle of the show. Well, they can because Munch is management, you see. Oh, you see his side, um, his like, not his patio, but the side ginnel to his house. He's done all the flagstones. Look lovely. They look like Norwegian slate. Yeah, what, what's next? Cardinal. Now, this looks brighter to me. Cardinal, to me, is, doesn't normally look that bright. That looks like a scarlet to me. 
Yeah, like a Superman red. <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's, oh, there he is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just putting his cape next to it, see if it's the same red. What I don't understand is how does the cape and everything tuck into that little tight jacket? You know, because he just spins like that, doesn't he? And it goes, anyway, poor man. No, he has, he has told everyone he's Superman. No, I never did a Superman film. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm on your table, Dave. Sorry. What? Dave, we had a competition earlier. Guess how many shackets Dave's got at home and in how many different colours. So if you could let us know. I'll let you know. Yeah, go home and count later. He's doing it now. Anyway, next one. A white. Oh, I thought you talked about his jacket. Because he won't have a white jacket. Nine. Nine? Is that all? Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd have more than that. Have you got a pale pink one, someone said? Yeah, I thought so. In fact, the pale pink one's in the dressing room, isn't it? Yeah. Is that for special occasions? It's what? Got no in it? Oh, what? Oh, I'm not a shacket boy. I sweat too much. 22.74. Oh, no, no money off this one. Ben? Not, not my funny bone on the table then. That's divine retribution, that is, for being nasty. 1874, it's not meant to be, but we've taken it down. 1874. Oh, Christine saying hello, Dave Bradford. Oi, Christine, this is my show. You can watch Hobby Maker and send your messages to him on there, not now. Oh, here you go. Same Christine says, funny you're talking about mirrors, John Scott. I don't know what's coming next. She's got a toy boy, right? Here, you go. here we go. I'm wanting one on the inside of my sewing room door to help with my dressmaking. Oh, instead of having to keep going downstairs, yeah. We'll get him to put one up, get Gary to fix one up for you. He might need to ha have a friend to help him. Oh, the white bundle's still on the white bundle. Seven left of the white bundle, three metres. And ten in baskets. Well done. Very busy this hour. Very busy. One more back in bundle. Copen. Have you got your earpiece in? <laughs> Sorry, cat. No, no, we've got New Mexico here. And the other one's called Baboon's Bottom. Yeah, you got that one, yeah. 16.95. Saving two pounds on that one. He's not boring. Right, here we go. New Mexico, as seen by through the eyes of Ben. It's the other way around that time, isn't it? There you go. 1895. New Mexico College, getting half a metre for free, three metres there. Very, very, very popular. Okay, there's 10 left, 17 in basket. Beautiful. Uh, and who's it that just walked in? Laura, you don't take any notice of him. <laughs> what a horrible... He says... Uh, he, the last sentence was, I like to think that I'm very kind. And these Laura's walked in together and goes, Oh, you smell. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, he said he could smell you coming down the corridor. That's what he was saying. Anyway, this is Benny's Beach Hut, also known as Baboon's Bottom. 1895. Beautiful. Right. So now I've got half metres just for five minutes more. I uh, don't, I don't think, oh yeah, there we go. It's more pinky, this one, than crimson. Ending what? 
No, I'm, oh no, you know why Crimson? It'll be in one of the bundles. It's in Ben's um, beach house. I'm not getting out again. Yeah. I've got XJLJ43. I thought it was Sangria, this one. At 3.79 for half a metre. Beautiful. Now, it's not that wide. It looks like a fat cord today. It's actually 44 inches wide. Machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, she's off now. She's off now. Smelly Laura. Oh, I love a sangria, she's saying. White sangria. Beautiful. Okay, black. <laughs> Go on. 379, 100% cotton black, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Cut to order, remember the others in the bundles are already cut. These are cut to order. Beautiful. Now I've got jade. Oh, I could have done the red one because it's there. Did you just put that back there or did I leave it there? Anyway, jade. Three seventy-nine. Is Frothy Dave on with Jade today? I haven't seen Frothy Dave for a few days. Oh, he's on gems today, is he? He's got a belt on. He doesn't wear a belt, does he? At three seventy-nine, far for meter. You only got one belt. Is he at Frothy Dave on there? Has he got a belt on? No, he's on next door now on gems. Do what? You don't think he's got a belt on? He never wears. I said I'd get him one for his birthday. Well, no, it looks really unfinished when he's standing there with his hands in his pockets and he's got his jeans on. He's not got a belt on. It just looks unfinished. Right, so then I've got grey. Yeah. 3.79. Lovely Laura. Christine saying lovely Laura. Do you know Laura, Christine? <laughs> she says, hi, Christine. Beautiful, moving on. Look at the time. Uh, now, I've got like a neon orange here. Tangerine, no. That's really bright, isn't it? Is that hot? That's not hot tomato. Yeah. They've changed hot tomato. <coughs> yeah, they've definitely, that was never hot tomato in my day. What's the matter? The cake was Scott's, right? So uh, the management didn't buy him one, so Hannah went out and bought him a cake. The only one she'd get was Charlie the Caterpillar. No, 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 on her way in, on the bus, on the Uber, right? So she got the cake, she came in, and then Scott said, oh, I'll take it for my daughters. Right? He forgot to take it. Hannah got really hungry. No knife. There was a pair of scissors on the, on the director's side of the gap. We don't know whose they were or where they're from. She cut that she wanted the bottom of the cake. And then Becky Swan wanted the face of the cake. Then, um, uh, what was his name? Chris Parks was like digging into it as well with a pair of scissors. I know. And they've left it there, mouldering. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go for khaki or olive, TFL. T, transport for London. Moss. Oh, it's, oh, now that's funny. Oh, no, because the moss we had was in the bundle. So was gonna say, so we've had moss already today. But they said, huh? yeah, it was, it was a bundle. Yeah, that's why they've sent up this one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. All I've got to tell you is, did you know that there's a Scots birthday celebration on the website? And on the other, if you go to the website now, oh, no, not while Dave and Superman are on, but, you know, like, um, go to the website, there's 15% off. Not anything we've got on here, things on the website. Right, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu then. William Morris Fabrics at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Oh, now, Tracy Perks in tomorrow. I've never met Tracy Perks before. 9 o'clock, rope and anchor flower quilts. Uh, uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got quilt kits you will love. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got the launch of the embroidery machine, the one I've been playing with. That's on my Facebook page. I, uh, Jane came in yesterday. Jane's coming on with me tomorrow to do it. We're going to have two machines going at the same time. It's going to be great fun. Now, 
if they sell out, then we'll go to wadding and interfacing, right? Or and things like that. And then, so we might not do the wadding and interfacing. It just depends if we sell out on the sewing machine, on the, uh, on the LNAM. Safety blanket made of wadding and interfacing. Uh, so make sure you check out on everything, especially Del when Delphine left. She had so many things in baskets. Make sure you check out on that. I've got to go now. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Make sure you check out your basket and enjoy Hobbymaker. Thank you.